In this class, let's take a look at Java FX as a framework. We'll study it briefly and see how it uses the template pattern to allow users of this framework to plug in their code. On to Java FX and what it has to offer us. Please take note that this is a very brief example and kind of a brief overview of how Java FX comes together to give you a UI inter user interface framework. It's not meant to be studied in detail as a part of the template pattern. Each user interface application built using Java FX has a single stage. All of the UI controls and the various scenes perform on this single stage. A stage contains many scenes. These scenes can be moved in and out of the stage based on what we want to show at any point in time. Each scene contains a multitude of UI elements called nodes. Now examples of node are a whole bunch of UI controls. Any UI control you think of, buttons, trees, scroll panes, they are all nodes. Shapes are nodes. Text is a node. Images are nodes. Media players are nodes, browser controls, etc. The nodes can easily be synced with the controller part of the code using something called properties and bindings. So these nodes are all UI controls. There is code or logic which define the interactions. And these can be synced with the controller which define the interactions using properties and bindings. JavaFX provides a whole bunch of additional things, but this is the basic structure of a JavaFX program. Some of the bells and whistles which JavaFX provides is timelines, transitions, and animations. These can be used to make your UI even better, even more engaging. You can animate scenes, add effects, and so on. Now, the main class which forms the entry point of any Java FX program extends a class called application. So, the main Java FX class derives from application, and the main method in the application code just invokes application.launch. Application.launch is the method that's invoked by the main method. What does this do? It launches the Java FX framework, which does a whole bunch of things under the hood. And eventually it will call the start method of the application object. So Java FX does a whole bunch of setup behind the scenes in order to make things ready for you. And then simply calls the start method of the application object. This start method receives an, as an argument the stage. The stage is where all the scenes are set up. So the stage is passed into the start method as an argument. Now you as a programmer need to plug in somewhere in order to start writing your code. What you need to do is to override the start method to create and manipulate scenes. These scenes are made up of multiple UI controls. Rather, these scenes contain multiple UI controls, which are nodes. Basically, Java FX has this whole setup which it does. Which it does. You've no idea what's going on there, but you can override the start method to manipulate stage, scenes, and nodes. This is a classic example of the template pattern. You plug in your custom code by overriding the start method. 